So in this video, we're going to go over how to set the schedule for the NVR. Uh, so first, we're going to go into the main menu. And then go to record over here. And the only option under here is schedule. Uh, so one of the easiest ways is to just click on the edit button here. And this gives you the most flexibility with setting up uh, you know, 24-7 recording or specific recording for each type of event. So you could have different schedule settings for the constant recording, the motion detection, and the alarm if needed. Uh, so right now I'm just going to select normal. Uh, as you could see earlier, there was no normal recording. And it's just going to match the uh, midnight to midnight schedule there. And I'm going to select all the days, so it's going to copy it to every single day. So the, it re-added the blue. Um, next uh, over here you can select the camera so if you want to have different schedules for each individual camera you can do so uh, substream if you select that that will let you uh, record the mainstream and the substream as well and that's the uh, lower resolution version uh, redundance is if you want to have uh, redundant recordings on a separate hard drive. You will have to set up the hard drive settings for that, uh, but you will also have to have this checked as well. Uh, Pre-record is for the motion detection, and this is basically how much of the recording it's going to maintain uh, before motion events occur. And then over here, uh, just showing more about how you can you can edit the various schedules. Uh, so if, for instance, you just wanted normal recording, uh, we'll just do regular business hours for now, six o'clock or seven o'clock to just say 17, which is five o'clock. And then apply to all. And so if for whatever reason you only wanted recordings during your business hours, you could do that. And if you want to do motion motion detection and alarm for 24-7, oops, forgot to click all, you could do that here. And so now instead of uh, constantly recording during the nighttime when not much activity is happening, you could just have motion and the alarm only trigger when events occur. And then down here, you have the one key motion, motion detection. Uh, so by clicking that, it will just set everything to motion only. And copy is to copy to all the various channels. And if you want to go back to default, there's a default button. And when you're done, click apply. And that's all there is to the schedule.